What's up guys it's your friendly neighborhood smingo and today here on the podcast we're going to talk about alma linux CentOS, and rocky linux now many of you might know in the it field that CentOS has decided to go upstream so it's left a lot of us with some questions of what operating system we should go to as cent OS 8 has ended life as of uh, 2021, December. So everybody's been kind of struggling around trying to figure out what to do. So this is just my version of what I've been playing around with and what you might be able to play around with. And if you're watching on YouTube, you might be able to tag along there. But if you're listening podcast form, of course, you're just going to have to kind of just understand what's going on. So, uh, yeah, it's been a minute since uh, a podcast. So, uh, got a new mic and uh, got some new equipment to try to uh, where I can podcast and capture stuff wherever I go. So, <clears throat> so Send OS ended 2021. Uh, of course, even at work, I run some, there's some old CentOS, CentOS boxes. There's five, six, and then there's Red Hat. Uh, come to find out that CentOS doesn't allow you to just upgrade from, you know, six to seven or even seven to eight. There's no upgrade path, which was uh, pretty weird to me. Like, I didn't know that that, that was even a thing. So... Uh, mostly everybody's on 7 or 8. Now, 7 is still supported till, let's see. Seven's still supported till 2024. So, you still have some time to really decide. Even with CentOS 8, you have time to decide. Um... It, it stinks. Don't get me wrong. It, it really stinks that eight ended. I just kind of all of a sudden, uh, I mean, it ended before seven did. So that should tell you something. <clears throat> um, eight was great, but, uh, the, just the, the CentOS stream coming along and ruining all that. Just, <laughs> I just don't know what to say about it. Um, so if you want to go from seven to something stable, or the overall goal in IT, especially when it comes to servers, you kind of want to have everything kind of consistent or the same. So you kind of have to choose. The problem is, which one do you choose? Like, is it Alma Linux or Rocky? Now, I've been favoring Rocky a lot more. I will say I've been putting everything Rocky. Uh, so if you go to rockylinux.org, you can see 8.5 is out. It says 100% bug for bug compatibility with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is great. That's what you want for a production server. Even this one's completely free. Now, if you've ever dealt with Red Hat, it's expensive, but you do get support. Uh, easy migration. That, that, that's one thing you need to look at is what's going to be the easiest for your server to migrate over. Is it going to be easy for you to migrate from... CentOS 8 to Alma or Rocky. Now, there's a great upgrade path or migration path from Rocky or from CentOS 8 to Rocky. Super easy. I've only had a few things I run into migrating a few boxes here and there, but I figured them out. Uh, all that stuff's there. Uh, now, if you have a CentOS 7 and you want to upgrade to 8, there's not really a, a way. Well, there is sort of a way. 
But I'm going to go straight to it using the about the Elevate project. Uh, this is really cool. This is one thing everybody needs to. The, this is more important. This is probably the most important part you can watch, listen to, is if you go to the Alma Linux and you do the Elevate, E-L-E-V-A-T-E, you need to learn about the Elevate project. And it allows you to upgrade CentOS 7 to Alma Linux 8, Rocky 8, Oracle 8, and even CentOS Stream now, um, which is fantastic. So I've even used this. I've done this Elevate Quick Start Guide. And I have upgraded a CentOS 7. Now, this is all just practice. I haven't done this to a production server. And I really don't plan to. And we'll talk about that, too, here in a minute. Uh, so you do this. And you can upgrade. And really, the only thing you got to change is this. You choose which one you want to do. You do Sumo Yum Install while Leap Upgrade. Leap data, then you chose Rocky. So I've been transitioning everything to Rocky. That's my goal, to get everything on Rocky Linux, just because I like it. I mean, there's there's not built in difference between both of them. I can't find a difference anyway. I mean, somebody out there probably got something that's different. I haven't figured it out. Um, one's just, the, the one's by original CentOS developer is Rocky. And almost uh, more community based, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Alma Linux is a one to one binary compatible clone of Red Hat, uh, Rail, guided and built by the community. So, I mean, it's not like they're, I, I mean, I would run both, really. It doesn't really matter to me. They're so similar and they do the same things. So, I, I've not really had a problem. Uh, running either so it's really just you got to choose you know there, there's lots of help out there to do the upgrade in order to convert your EL8 operating system to Linux, do the following CentOS 8.4.8.5 is required to convert to Alma Linux so you even have to have your box all the way updated too like to CentOS 8 so the 8 is the easiest one to upgrade. So going from 8 to Alma or 8 to Rocky, really easy. It's the 7, and you have to use the Elevate Quick Start Guide. And I'll try to leave this in links and stuff below so everybody can find it whenever I'm done uh, podcasting. Uh, but this is great. This is, this is a way to help you choose. Uh, like I said, I, I went with Rocky. I like the name. It's easy to say. Alma Linux is just weird. It doesn't flow off the tongue well to me. <laughs> so that could be a reason. Uh, but that's just, that's just kind of what you just got to choose. Uh, so you kind of want to keep everything the same though. You want to keep, you know, if you're going to run Alma, do all Alma boxes. It'd be a lot easier. Now, that's not always the case. I mean, you could run both. That's totally up to you. Totally up to you. It doesn't matter. Uh, it makes no difference to me. It's just, in the IT world, you kind of want to have everything consistent. That's just because if, you know, I mean, you even have the option that if you want to switch over to a Debian-based distribution if you wanted to. Like if you wanted to use Ubuntu servers. It's totally up to you. They have, uh, Ubuntu has a, uh, you know, like Red Hat, it has a, a, a professional company that will support you too. It's totally up to you. It's just not as popular. And normally you want to run production servers Red Hat. I, it's just, that's kind of just been the industry standard. It doesn't mean you have to. You have options. Let's see, what is... Debian's, I forget what it is, Debian based, uh, support, I say Ubuntu, Ubuntu support, oh, 
<laughs> canical, that's it. Canical. So you can get Canical Technical Support. I forgot the name. So you can get Canical Technical Support. It costs money. It's the same thing. It probably costs the same too. But uh, I, I've tried to ha reach them out and was thinking about switching some servers over to it. But Rocky, it's like we're, we're, there's already CentOS boxes at work. I've just been learning this distribution now. Uh, but I still... I can't. I just can't run for door. I, uh, I just. I keep trying. I just don't like it. <laughs> I've tried to like for door for years, and I just don't like it. Now, Rocky CentOS. I like those. They run stable. I don't know what it is. Even on this laptop, I'm capturing on. I've tried to run Fedora, and it just freezes. I don't know what it is. It just freezes up. It stalls. Nothing works. I install, you know, like Lubuntu or. Uh, Ubuntu. That's another good thing is, uh, you know, you, you, with the Debian base, you can download the graphical interfaces pretty much their own distro, which you can with Fedora too. But I'm really enjoying Lubuntu here lately. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's really, really light and you can make it look like Windows, I guess. That's what I like about it. Uh, I just I just enjoy the Windows interface, uh, but the operating system like the core operating system doesn't really matter to me anymore. Like they all do similar things, <laughs> so I don't know what it is. I just I just don't care. Uh, but the only thing I give Windows for is like I you know capturing stuff, capturing this video. I want to do it on Linux, but I was just like uh, something won't work right. It won't load a driver right, and I just didn't want to deal with it. I still. Like running servers on Linux, yes, I'd rather run a Linux server than a Windows server any day. <laughs> it's just because it just uh, what's the old saying? Uh, if you, uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I can't remember right now. If you want to be root, install Linux. If you want to reboot, do Windows. <laughs> I think that's it anyway. But yeah, so uh, Alma Linux versus Rocky. Uh, I, I just I don't know what to really say. Maybe I'll break it down more in a post on uh, fulltechpodcast.com. That might be it. I'll try to break it down a little, simplify it, and link this podcast to it. But I don't know which one you should choose. There's you just got to choose one. I mean, you still got time if you you can still run CentOS seven till twenty twenty four. So we got two years till you got to figure out something to do. Uh. Another thing is you can just recreate the servers. And a good website is uh, DistroWatch. I love DistroWatch. DistroWatch is awesome. It kind of keeps you uh, in the loop of what's been upgraded and what's popular. And, you know, hits. HPD, that's usually hits per day. You can see, you know, the popular ones are always MX Linux. I've not really tried these guys. Which I think it's based on Arch, right? Is that right? No, oh, it's Debian. It, uh, what's the one's the Manjaro? It's the Arch one based, yeah. That's one I need to try out is Manjaro. I heard it's really good. Uh, I think I've put it, I think I've installed it before, but it's been a minute. Not really sat down and used it. Kind of like I have these other operating systems here lately. Um, Archer's one I've not fooled with much either because cause they say there's kind of a steep learning curve if you've been using Debian and uh, you know RPM packages forever <laughs> you know that kind of stuff it's kind of you know get used to using Pac-Man the Pac-Manager or I don't know something else might be different that's just what I read I heard it's just different uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've run some stuff on Arch and just not known it. That's just how it goes. I'm pretty sure um, the Steam Deck, isn't it running Arch? Let's see. Steam Deck Arch. Stream Deck. Is it the Stream Deck or Steam Deck? Yeah. Valve's upcoming... 
Steam Deck will be based on Arsenic, not Debian. That's what I'm talking about. It's a nice little article. But, yeah, it's based on Arch. And I do want to start talking about more about Linux gaming here on the channel and on the podcast. But it's come a long way. It's still not the best, but it'll do. It'll do. Uh, but, yeah, uh, which one should you choose? Uh, leave a comment on the video down below or, you know, just message me on Twitter at the Smango. Let's start talking about Alma versus Rocky if you want to. Uh, join the Discord. We can have conversations there. That'd be great. But uh, I still want to get a Steam Deck. Should I get a Steam Deck? I don't know. Maybe. But uh, be sure to check out the channel, uh, fulltechpodcast.com. We'll see you guys next time.